hi guys welcome back to my channel and welcome back to a little bit of a different vlog so basically in this video i'm just going to be explaining the situation that's going on with me and leggy at the moment as you can see my year is not exactly going to plan if anything it's just turning out disastrously so yeah basically i'm going to start this video with the start of a vlog from last week two weeks ago um because everything's kind of happening in real time and i think it's really important to watch what goes on in real time i am doing a little warning at the beginning of this vlog i do get very upset in the um the bits where like it's all kind of kicking off and everything's going on so i didn't know oh are you still growling at each other <laughs> there's like a lot happening over there yes that's right so anyway um so i didn't know whether to put this this is not ideal when i've got a potentially broken up um so i didn't know what to put out with this video i wasn't sure whether to post any of it or whether to let you guys know what's happening i really need to move i have too many palms this is not working right is this gonna work now can we just you, you can be in the video but i need you to all just stop Oh, now he's choking. Um, anyway, okay, so basically, this video is in real time. It explains what's going on. I didn't want to put it out because it shows me being really, really, really vulnerable. And I'm opening myself up for a hell of a lot of criticism. So I'm going to put this now at the beginning of the video. Please, if you have something negative to say, if you want to type it, then delete it. That's fine. But I am not in the right frame of mind now to be attacked by people so i would appreciate it if um nobody came at me right now because like i said a little bit vulnerable so i am going to put all the videos out i am going to put out the real time of what happened so yeah anyway let's get into it oh it's so sunny today there no, that's poor lighting there. Good lighting, bad light. I'm gonna say there. Okay, hello everyone and welcome back to another video and welcome back to the worst time of the year if you are an equestrian living in Britain right now because even though the sun's out today, which we're very, very fortunate for because lately we have had floods everywhere. Everywhere is flooding, all the um, rivers are flooding. Yeah, so it's, uh, it's a bit rubbish over in Britain at the moment. But the sun is out today, which is super good because we are going competing. We are going over to Field House Equestrian and we are doing the Inter One Freestyle, which is always really fun to watch. This is actually only the second time I have ever competed in the freestyle doing my Inter One test because the last time we did it was at the Midway Championships and this time we're just doing it at like a, um, I call it a local show, but Fields House is actually a bit of a trek, but it's just like a normal show, not an away show. So yeah, that would be super good. Um, and then if you have been following me on Facebook, you will have seen that I am doing the, um, Premier Leagues this season which is going to be so so exciting but I am pre-warning you don't expect us to do well because the Premier Leagues are as they sound they're against all the professional riders um, and all the horses are amazing and yeah we might not be able to keep up with them but hey we're going to give it a go anyway so it's going to be good for you guys to come along with us but for now we're just going over to Field House if you like the videos please give the channel a like and subscribe and yeah let's get going Um, I'm, so yeah, basically, 
he, I don't even know, oh god, I don't even know how to say it. So, a couple of weeks ago, or a week and a half ago, Leggy pulled his shoe off. Um, those of you who know Leggy well know he has the most appalling feet in like the entire universe. Basically, his feet are too small for his body, bless him. Um, because he is crossed with a thorough, he's a draft crossed with a thoroughbred. And we've always laughed and said he's got thoroughbred feet on a draft horse's body. So they're basically too small for his own body, causing two pressure cracks. One in his left foot and one in the right foot. Basically, he, he bear, I keep saying basically, he bears a load on these cracks. So, a couple of weeks ago, we turned him out and he pulled off his bar shoe. The bar shoe came off, it exposed a big cavity in his foot. And uh, he had to have some remedial work done on it. Anyway, we had the remedial work done on his foot. He's got a bar shoe and a pad and he's had a cast put round it. And anyway, we were so successful with that, that he came sound and he was absolutely fine. We was prepping for this show and he was, he was feeling fitter and better than ever. So we carried on with everything. The year carried on being planned because he was absolutely fine. Anyway, I'm literally showing you all of this in real time. This has just happened. You've just watched me out there lunging him. The reason I popped him on the lunch for a little bit is because he's having to stay in today because of competing and he's clean. And um, I just wanted to stretch his legs. I was going to lunge him for like two minutes. Anyway, I stopped lunging him because I noticed something and there is actually blood coming out of the crack, which I will show you. You might as well have a look. So let's have a look. I'm about to clean it and bandage it. I don't think you're going to see in this light. So, back up. This is his bad foot, and you can see he's got like casting around it, which is what this bandage is. Um, but if you come over here, no. <laughs> if you come over here, you can see, you can see the crack. <laughs> And um, yeah, where the blood is actually coming out of the crack. So you can see there's a little mark around there and it's not a lot, but there is movement there again and there is blood coming out of that crack. So this is a massive issue, like this is huge. So I rang the farrier up, poor farrier on a Sunday morning. Uh, he is an angel and I've just rang him up and I've explained what's happening and I said it's definitely not the skin, um, the blood is coming out of the crack and what do we do? Um, and he has obviously got very concerned, he's coming out first thing tomorrow because he said he would come out today but he's not actually here. Um, so he's going to come out on Monday morning to have a look at him but basically blood coming out of his foot is really bad and, mm, and I'm getting really upset but I'm going to um mm, yeah trying to pause for a minute <laughs> okay so I'm not clearly upset because I'm like I say I'm showing you all this in real time and I don't even know if I'm going to put this out yet so I'm going to have a little think when I get back home as to whether I actually show you guys or not um but, you know, I've had so much support, so I think it's good to, like, know what's going on. Um, so anyway, he's going to have some big work done, and uh, I don't know how long he's going to be off for, and how long it's going to take for him to recover. Um, so, that's where we're at. It's obviously not a good sign. Um, I don't like I'm not going to pretend like I know what's happening because I don't I just know that after speaking to the farrier it's it's a lot to be concerned about and he said um yeah it's going to cost a lot of money and it's going to take a lot of time but hopefully we can get him right okay so um basically what happened after then is we had to go to the drawing board with Leggy um, and make a bit of a plan. At the time, the reason I was so upset was because there was a potential that he could be off for 12 months. 
There was also a potential that he could never be worked again. Um, we didn't actually know at that time whether he would ever come right. And I know I like looked a little bit dramatic, but he is my whole world. Um, look at these babies and they're my whole world. Yes. Um, so yeah, so he's like everything to me and I was really worried that I was going to lose him and it was all just, yeah, everything was getting very real. Anyway, so that happened. Um, we then started to make a little bit of a plan. Um, I am working with fantastic vets and farriers, so we made a bit of a plan and basically the farrier came out assessed what was going on um saw what was going wrong and we made a plan so at the time um he never had any of the equipment um that he needed to do the work that him and the vet both agreed with so he the the path we were going to go down he didn't have the stuff right now so in the meantime leggy had to go on box rest now those of you who know how i look after my horses box rest is definitely not um what we do with them they live out a lot and they get a lot of free roam and they live out overnight they only come in for the day they basically they come in they get worked and they go out we've got like 30 acres of fields and yeah so box rest is really not normal so anyway i get to keep leggy on box rest kept leggy on box rest um and then i was allowed to walk him in hand so i've been can we just like stop <laughs> so thank you up they're taking the show this is meant to be about me and leggy and they're taking over ha! so anyway um me and leggy were in hand walking now so he's been in for a week and literally has not been out at all i'm now allowed to walk him in hand i was in hand walking him and in hindsight looking back at it he is still super fit and he's not really lame as well so yeah he doesn't feel poorly so i was walking him and he got very fresh um i never had my hat on which is <sighs> i i wanted this video to be like a really serious video where i could update you on what's happening in our lives and it's really just not happening because poms are involved now, if you're going to stay here, can you just sit quiet? Ah. Anyway, so, where was I? So, I was in hand walking him. I was walking him up and down. I got to lead him up and down the menage. I gave him a little bit of grass, which kept him really happy. And then he got really excited, turned around and kicked me in the arm. Stop! Uh, he kicked me in the arm. Actually, in my tricep back, back there. I don't really want to show you. Um... So yeah, so then that happened. So it was really bad at the time. Obviously it hurts a lot. He's got a full set of shoes on. He's 17.3. I'm like five foot and weigh eight and a half stone. So as you can imagine, I was injured. Um, so the dog's chasing his tail now. Um, so anyway, uh, I got taken to hospital by the lovely Patrick. They x-rayed it there. They couldn't see any obvious breaks, um, but they still weren't happy with it because of the amount of impact that I took. And then I got sent to Telford and I went to the fracture clinic the following day. They then um, checked me over and did some physio and they said they're not 100% sure that it's not broken because of the stuff that they can't see up on the x-ray. Obviously hairline fractures or stuff like that they can't really see. So I still haven't been signed off yet. Um, I've got to go back to the hospital next week to have some physio and just uh, I think I'm having more x-rays done as well. So that's basically where I'm at. Um, anyway, so that was me having my injury. But today the farrier has come out to do some work on Leggy and to actually start the remedial work on him. I will now insert the video of, of little bits of remedial work ago. Okay, so that's basically what Leggy's had done to his feet. Um, he was actually so surprised with how well he walked off after. Um, fingers crossed, he's super sound, looks super well. 
we might just have my horse back eventually so the plan is i could actually start so he's got to have a week to let it all bed in and then i could actually start light work with him but obviously who knows what's going to happen now because i've got an injury so my injury's got to get better his injury's got to get better oh this year is killing me off so yeah so that's where i'm at that's why i wanted to do this video just to update you people keep asking me about safi when she's gonna get going but obviously now i've got my injury i've just had to take a step back this has not been the greatest start to the year in fact it couldn't have gone much worse so yeah 2023 welcome to my life thank you for starting it off with a bang so that's where i'm at Anyway, I said normally say at the end, I hope you've enjoyed the video, but it hasn't really been a very nice video. What I can say is I hope you've enjoyed watching my stupid pom. Because look at her. Squish, 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 squish. So, yeah, anyway, um, that's where I'm at. I am still hoping to fill you with videos. Um, what videos? I don't know. Luckily, we actually recorded some how-to videos, which you've noticed have come back out. Um, the how-to videos are back out and we filmed quite a lot of those pre-leggy and pre-injury so I'm hoping to still get plenty of videos out for you guys. Um, in the meantime I'm healing if it's not broken which I don't think it is because look my fingers move fine. Um, if it's not broken then hopefully it'll only be a couple of weeks rest. Leggy will start his light work and I might actually document his rehab like back to proper work. Um, like I say it's awkward because he was never really lame. He's just got this foot issue going on. So that's where we're at. That's it. Like and subscribe. See you next time. Thank you.